Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, October 24, 2012. Well, a continuation of the trend to the downside today in a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. A much smaller black body on this candle. And uh, the previous day's trading we had a very large black body, black body when the market broke out from the bottom of the uh, flag pattern. And uh, here today, the small black body denotes the sellers making net bearish progress, but a very substantially reduced amount of net bearish progress compared to the previous day. And that does raise some doubt about continuation of the trend to the downside. It seems as though the sellers have lost some momentum throughout the trading day in net terms. We also have a larger shadow on the top of this candle, and uh, as the market attempted to rally up through the 1415 and to the 1422 area, we saw some strong price rejection, with the market closing down towards the lows. So uh, even though we've seen a lack of momentum in net terms between the open and the close, the sellers have still closed this market with control. So we're getting some uh, conflicting. Uh, uh, evidence here with regard to the strength of the buyers and sellers so even though the momentum was reduced they still did close with control and the buyers lost commitment up above these levels of resistance so there is uh, uh, perhaps potential for this market to continue trending down now uh, the market is trading within the cloud and is uh, perhaps trending down towards this 1400 round number level of uh, previous support and resistance and we can see here in the recent past how this area held as very solid support and I'd expect that uh, we should see some strong support come in down around this level it also coincides with the bottom of the cloud here now we also have a target on the breakout from the bottom of this flag pattern flag patterns tend to be continuation patterns uh, usually they break out to the upside there was more of a likelihood that this was going to break out to the upside but we always need need evidence for the breakouts from these patterns and the evidence was a breakout to the downside so it's a reversal pattern and we have a target down around the 1378 area now whether the market actually reaches that target is debatable because of the strong influence of the round number 1400 support and the bottom of the cloud now in terms of the Fibonacci extension, uh, previous day's trading we saw the market trade bearishly down through the 261.8% level. Today the market's gone on with that, uh, tested above that 261.8%, found resistance there and the sellers closed with the control. So really no uh, strong influence from the buyers except for this uh, small loss of momentum from the sellers today and that's the only thing that suggests that there could be a change of trend. We do have a target down the 423.6% which is down around 1386 but uh, the market will need to tra trade down through that net round number 1400 level of support before it trades down to that level. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement of the prior uptrend, we're now in an expansion mode of that. We've uh, traded through the 100% in a very bearish manner. The market is now um, testing down towards the 161.8%, which is at 1401, and coincides with this round number resistance of 1400 and the bottom of the cloud. So that strengthens the support that we'd expect to find roughly down around this 1400 level. In terms of Ichimoku, uh, in big picture terms and the long term time frame, the market uh, remains neutral by trading within the cloud. So previously we had a strongly bullish market and uh, we are now trading down within the cloud. We expect to find support somewhere within the cloud, but uh, certainly no sign of that happening at the moment. Uh, as I've mentioned, the bottom of the cloud is around here at 1400, so that will be a very crucial area to this market. If we see a bearish close down below here, we could see the market test very quickly down to the 1378 level. But the market is still trading down below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, so the market's bearish in the medium and fast term timeframes. That's the pink line and the green line here. And uh, interestingly, that uh, Kijun Sen has started to point flat, and very often when the Kijun Sen points flat, price action is attracted back towards this. So it wouldn't surprise to see this market attempt to rally back up towards the Kitchen Zone, which is trading up at, at around 1440, roughly around the top of the cloud. As I've mentioned, however, we do have strong resistance overhead around the 1415 and the 1422 area within the cloud. So uh, that will be an important barrier, but uh, let's watch uh, if uh, we do see some strength come into this market. Uh, testing to the uh, high which is near the 1422 area roughly will be important if we see bullishness the market could uh, over the next couple of days test up to around the 1440 level but uh, certainly if the trend continues to the downside 1400 round number support is crucial to this market
Thank you.